What happens if the world becomes infected? In this video, I infect the entire village, then the entire world. You might be thinking, but why? It all started when my creative mode was taken from me and I was given the death sentence. For the continuous abuse and torture of innocent villagers, we hereby sentence you to death! Yo, chill! Chill! Ooh, uh, uh, uh. Ooh what's this? <laughs> Luckily, I had some cobweb in my inventory which saved me from certain death. Now that I survived their death trap, it was time for my ultimate revenge. I was gonna infect this Minecraft server completely with Skull. How? Well, before I was caught and sentenced to death, I managed to sneak into the villagers' secret temple of artifacts and stole a little something something. This Skull Shrieker right here is the only one on this server and is highly, highly illegal. But before I can start infecting this server, there's just one problem. The players who were responsible for executing me yeeted me off a skyblock and into a void bin. They're expecting to see a certain update in the chat, and if they don't see it, they're gonna suspect something. Ha! I knew it! They sent one of their people to come check up on me. Hey, what are you doing? You're supposed to be dead! Yeah, I got lucky and found a cobweb in my inventory. But I'm not looking for a fight, I swear. I'll go into the void pit. I just have one request. You think you're in a position to make a demand? Not a demand, just a small request for someone who's gonna die anyways. Please? What is it? I just don't want to die naked like this. I want to die wearing cool armor, like yours. You think I'm dumb enough to fall for that? Look, I'll stand right by the void pit, I put on your cool armor, and you can knock me into the pit right after. Just a simple request for a man in his final moments. Fine! And just like that, he handed me all of his armor. This is gonna be super important for the next phase of my plan. But for now, watch this. What's going on? That's odd. I'm standing on the void bit. Maybe you should double check your own footing. Oh. No! Basically, before player four got here, I set up fake carpet blocks on top of the void bit. And I created a fake void bit a few blocks away from the real one. So he just knocked me onto some solid blocks while he was standing on some flimsy painted carpet. But wait, there's more. I also booted up a mod where when you switch armor, it also temporarily swaps your usernames. So when he gave me his armor, he swapped usernames with me, which means, oof, looks like not Zen mode has died. <laughs> <laughs> yes! His death has activated the Skull Shrieker and it's infecting the world! Wait, that's it? Come on now, we're gonna need way more death to cover this entire village with Skull. Luckily, I had the perfect idea for a death machine. First, I had to build a nether portal. Then, I needed bait. I mined some gold, smelted it, put it right outside the portal's reach, and... An endless supply of greedy piglins would come through the portal hoping to score some gold, but they'd fall right through my carpet trap and right onto a death spike. <laughs> my death machine worked and the skulk was finally starting to spread around the server. As this skulk spreads throughout the server, it's gonna completely destroy the villager's way of life. Plus, they'll never know to come looking for me since... Hey, what the hell is going on? Oh, shit! Bruh. Uh, nothing. I just came here to investigate what happened with the purple guy, and I found this. Luckily, I was smart enough to cover up my death machine and not just leave it out in the open. Where's all this skull coming from? Not sure, but we should probably get to the bottom of this. We better report this to the higher-ups. Come with me! Now you tell me, what kind of backwards Minecraft server is it when the villagers are bossing around the players? This ain't right. Ah. Damn! So basically, the skulk has already spread through all of the farmland and killed all of the crops! Soon, the villagers are gonna have a food crisis! Ah. There's more! Apparently, the skulk is not sturdy enough to sustain structures, so when it infects them, the structures start to flatten, creating even more damage! <laughs> This is working even better than I originally thought. The next day, the villagers sent the players out to investigate the origin of the skull. But when we were out, all of a sudden these weebs started asking me questions. So what exactly happened when you went out to find Zinmo? What do you mean? It was an epic fight, but I came out on top. Stabbed them to death myself. Stabbed? Yeah, but the Trump said he fell out of the world. Bruh. That's the thing about lying. Eventually, you get tangled up in it. What's your birthday? What? You heard me! If you really fill up, then tell us what your birthday is! Damn, they're on to me. I need to throw them off somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Look! 
the skull ball spreads outwards from a single point. It's not gonna be that easy. No, he's right. Look, it spreads outwards. If we trace this back to the center, we should be able to find the source. I had to give him something. Otherwise, they'd keep interrogating me. But I had a bigger problem. If they stop my skulk machine, then my plan would be foiled. It's coming from this statue. Go on, then bring it down. What the hell is this? Haven't you ever heard how curiosity killed the cat? Yo, what are you doing? No! I had no choice. It was 2v1 and I was ready for the fight. I just had to hold them off long enough for the skulk machine to affect the rest of the world. But I got a little too into the PvP and I actually killed player one. But when I looked for player two, he was running away! After that, the villager empire went into war mode. They launched a full-scale invasion just to hunt me down. A bit overkill if you ask me. They quickly recaptured the skull tree, which put a halt to my death machine. They were guarding it with everything they had. Damn, they got trained war bears? Yo, are those tanks? Stupid about that. They even got dragons flying above. Sky's locked down too. There's no chance I'm getting near that Skulk Shrieker. My best bet is to run and regroup once I'm safe. But they wouldn't let me get away with that either. So they captured me. But it wasn't long before I realized that something was off. And that's because I was once again two steps ahead of these dumb villagers. Since they sent their entire military force out to capture me, they left their base completely unguarded. That gave me the chance to sneak in and steal just the thing I needed. Something that was too heavily guarded last time. The command block! With the command block, I'm able to clone entities, including myself! But that's not why I needed this. I need this for the next stage of my plan. I was about to build an army of my own, but first I needed to make a quick trip to the deep dark caves to pay an old friend a visit. Long time no see, just follow me. Ouch! Come on, nah, nah, save that energy for the villagers. Now I got the warden to follow me to the surface. Everybody knows the warden's gonna attack whoever generates the most sound, and Skull happens to amplify the sound of the warden hears. So what happens when there's an entire army that's standing on Skull, guarding a Skull Shrieker? The warden's gonna attack, that's what. Obviously having one warden wasn't enough firepower. But that's where my trusty stolen command block comes into play. With this, I can clone things, remember? Yeah! Oh! This is all out war! Bruh. And it doesn't matter who wins or loses in this war. I win no matter what. Because every time something dies, that's right, the Skull Catalyst is gonna spread more Skulk! <laughs> you dumb villagers, here I am! You can kill me now, but good luck surviving in this new infected world!